Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a speed reviews kind of a video. I've seen so many of my favorite international American YouTubers do these kind of videos and usually I would do it for skincare but the exciting thing about today's video is we're going to talk about new makeup. Um, I have been recently inspired in the past few months to try out a lot of different makeup products specifically in three categories is where I experiment in blushes, liquid lipsticks or lipsticks but usually I stick only to liquid lipsticks and loose powders. Um, so in today's video also I have products in those three categories only and let me know if you want me to do these kind of videos like every quarter or every like couple of months. I don't think I can do these kind of videos every month because I don't want to bring too many new products into my collection in general but um, I think we could do like a makeup one twice a year maybe and then we can do maybe skincare ones a little bit more often but if you enjoy this kind of a format then please let me know down below in the comment section but without any further ado let's jump right into it because we have a lot of products to talk about. Now like I said already um, I will be doing them category wise so we'll start with loose powders then we'll move on to blushes and we'll end with my favorite which is lipsticks if you are only looking for a specific product review and you don't want to watch the entire video that's completely fine I'm going to actually leave timestamps down below for every single product so that way you can go to a specific product review and then get out of the video but please make sure you subscribe before you leave because it would help me a ton and if you want to come back then make sure to hit on the notification bell button because that way you will get notified every single time I post a new video but now let's finally jump right into it. Now starting with the loose powders we actually have three um, I have two to show you today and then one I have completely used up already so I can give you my full rounded um, thoughts and opinions on that one there is these two I have used a significant amount as well so we can talk about these as well I'll start with the elf halo glow um, setting powder and I've seen a different um, like I've seen different variants in this I think if you buy it in the US they have a black lid one as well and then this is the halo glow version so I'm not sure if the black lid one is the exact same formula as this one or not but this is the one that I bought from Nika in India because it's more easily and accessible to us over here so this particular variant I um, don't have the best experience and the best review to share with you i will let you know that because uh, when i saw other people also speak about the halo glow setting powder i did not hear anyone talk about how shimmery this is um, i wouldn't say it's got like obvious visible like shimmer particles in it but you can definitely tell when you look at the powder there is a sheen aspect and component to it and if you put it all over your face to um, like set your face set your makeup set your skincare you will definitely notice a dew and a shine like throughout the day and if that is something that you are looking for you're gonna love this but um, if you are someone who has more oily skin and you don't want that kind of a finish on your skin you want something that's more matte uh, more like oil control shine control kind of a finish then you will definitely be disappointed with this one the way i use it is i like after my skincare basically um, once my sunscreen is done after a couple of minutes i put on a loose powder all over my face just to set my face and also to work as a base under makeup and for that specific purpose if i'm using this product on its own it actually does not work because after a couple of hours i turn very very like dewy greasy um, oily looking all over my face so i don't like that kind of a finish and even though it's currently in my project pan i'm trying to use it up um, that is because i don't want to just throw it away i probably want to get my use out of it and i'm doing that by putting another um, loose powder on top of it which is the maybelline fit me one that one has more of a coverage aspect to it so once i set my face with this I just put it on in certain specific areas where I want to make sure that I'm not dewy or shiny like the middle of my forehead, um, even the high points and like the T-zone basically on my face is where I put the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder to mattify my face and um, then like the rest of my face I'm okay if it gets a little bit dewy, shiny, oily looking. Uh, it's not that much of a concern to me. I currently actually have that combo on my face also so you can see um, there is a glow to your skin and then I did put the Maybelline in the T-zone and in the forehead region etc. 
so personally i would not recommend this to people with oily skin but if you like a powder with like more of a sheen maybe something like the hourglass powder which is super expensive but if you're looking for something on a budget this would be a great option i feel like we said speed reviews but i took a minute over there um let's move on next to the verified airbrush loose powder i did not try out the compact version so i don't know how that compares to this but anam who's the founder of verified has basically said that the two products are absolutely the same in terms of their performance it's just that this one comes with more product and it's in a loose powder format versus that one is supposed to be more like travel friendly apparently and it is supposed to um it will obviously have lesser product as well now this particular one i have quite a few thoughts on firstly i really appreciate that the sifter anand put in here does not uh, like a lot of product doesn't come out you don't have products like flying everywhere but i also feel like i don't get enough product out of the sifter i have to really bang it to get any product in which i can then put my brush and like apply it all over my face so what i did is i actually removed the sifter sifter i'm like i'm not even getting like enough loose powder to cover my entire face and it is a very 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 time consuming process to get stuff out of the sifter so if you are someone who just who wants to use a tiny amount of loose powder to set your face a little bit throughout the day you might actually like that the sifter doesn't get too much product out because it's going to be less messy versus for me it's a very time consuming process which is why i've removed the sifter Now the main claims of this product is that it's supposed to airbrush your face and it's supposed to keep you matte and oil free throughout the day. I definitely agree with the airbrush component of this one. Um I actually feel like it blurs my pores, blurs my skin and my skin looks absolutely amazing with this product. That being said, I don't think it keeps my face matte and shiny throughout the day. Um I feel like it does black like work better as compared to a lot of other loose powders which i have used um i would say it's comparable to the makeup revolution um luxury banana powder that one is also pretty um like pretty similar in terms of how well it keeps my face oil free and shine free throughout the day maybe the finish is not as blurring but it's okay um that being said this also comes with a decent amount of product even though it's probably a little bit more expensive than the makeup revolution one and also in that one you get more um like more product for your money this one comes with lesser product and it's more expensive than that one so yes keeping that in mind i will say that um this is a little expensive for what it is i'm going to continue using it uh, in the summer this year and i think by the end of the summer i will be able to give you like an empty as a review on this and let you know if it is actually worth the money if i would personally repurchase it uh, time and time again because again like i said it is more expensive so i want to compare it with other loose powders to see whether this is truly the best uh, in the market or not in terms of the performance and if it is worth repurchasing over and over again as of now i would say it's a good product if you can justify the price i would definitely suggest you to try it out um if you have the money to spend but if you want to um kind of not spend about 1000 rupees for a loose powder there are definitely better alternatives that might not be as good in terms of the performance but they are still pretty decent and um one of those is the next product we're going to be talking about which is the mars trend setting loose powder now i discovered that mars actually has two loose powders um so the one i am speaking about i assumed was the only one but they actually have another loose powder as well which i will be hopefully trying out soon but today we're going to talk about the trend setter or trend setting loose powder from mars cosmetics it's got a blue color dhakkan in case you want a reference point i will also probably list and link it down below in the comment section sorry in the description box and it will probably be an affiliate link as well i'll just let you know that so if you want to buy it after my review you can use that link or you can just google it yourself and buy it um, on your own both are completely fine the mars trend setting loose powder is like i was shocked when i saw how affordable this product is and it comes with almost the same amount of product that other loose powders do i think most of them come with 6 to 10 grams of product by the way the verified does come with 20 grams so that's double and it still looks the same size so i'm actually shocked ki isme 20 grams kaise fit kiya un logne because it's quite compact so um anyway coming back to mars um that one has i think 8 grams of product the elf has i am not sure 
how many grams in your it doesn't say anywhere but i think wo bahar ke dabbe mein tha so i'm not sure but of uh, the trend set or loose powder from mars um i was shocked at how finely milled it is the first time i used it literally feels like matlab if you ever like play with aata i used to play a lot with aata bachpan mein and how finely milled aata is it almost feels like that i don't want to like make it sound like it's just like aata it's not but अगर आपने कभी वो टेक्सचर अपने हाथ में फील किया लाइक चक्की से जो ताज़ा आटा आता है डब्बे में दैट वाज व्हाट माय चाइल्डहुड वाज लाइक ऑफ कोर्स इट्स नॉट द सेम एनी मोर बट दैट्स हाउ इट बेसिकली फील्स इट इज सो 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 फाइनली मेड जस्ट एयर ब्रश इज योर फेस एंड लुक्स एब्सोल्यूटली अमेजिंग वेन यू वेन यू पुट इट ऑन योर स्किन बट इट डजेंट लाइक थ्रू आउट द डे इट डजेंट लास्ट the same way i definitely feel like my face gets quite shiny throughout the day after a couple of hours but uh, since i used to carry it with me in my makeup bag and take it to work i could touch up at the end of the day say after office if i was going out with my friends and i just wanted to touch up my makeup i would just go in there dip it in put it on and because it's so affordable i don't mind touching up i don't mind if the packaging is a little messy and if i end up like spilling some product out or um you know using too much or anything like that i'm completely okay with it because of how affordable it is and um i think you get a decent amount of product for the price so because of the affordability and how good it performs um i can personally excuse other aspects of the product absolutely no problem there and um yes i did like it quite a bit i will consider trying other shades um because i got the translucent shade personally and sometimes that can look a little bit white when you first apply it but then throughout the day it just blends into your skin completely so i might get other shades to try it out and see how it works but again like i said i want to try out the other loose powder also from mars um to be able to give you like my final thoughts like which is better do like a mars loose powder comparison if you will and if you be interested in that let me know let's move on next to our blushes i feel like i've spoken about loose powders for quite a while there uh, now when it comes to blushes i have two over here to show you we have flower beauty and we have essence this essence one is actually quite popular um even like internationally i've heard so many things about this shade uh, which is in the shade befitting now when i got this blush i was actually looking for a replacement for my color by matte illusion blush in the shade veil merlo if you um, know this and if you've been following me for a long time i was obsessed with that it's a beautiful nude pink matte blush looks amazing on my complexion but unfortunately color by decided to break my heart and discontinue the product so when i discovered this also a matte blush quite similar shade and uh, you can make it work for the same kind of makeup looks that i would with the color by one um, and it's also half the price This one I paid around 300 rupees I want to say for it and thoda sa discount mila mujhe uske but apart from that also it's very very affordable versus the Kalaba one I think was like 600 700 also very affordable but this is like under 500 I don't think you can actually beat that and this comes with how much product it comes with I think does it say 3 grams I can't read the label very very clearly but blushes we don't really go through very very quickly this is what it looks like very simple the packaging on these is um like plastic flimsy etc but it still feels pretty secure like it doesn't seem like a saw rupee ka super cheap component or anything it still feels pretty good um i'm really really happy with the shade specifically the way it looks on my complexion the longevity of this product the finish of it like overall i would give this like a good solid 9 out of 10 and um it is personally something that i will be using a ton uh, more going forward so really really happy about this product and this purchase whereas the color bar not color bar color bar matlab zuban pe baith gaya hai the flower beauty flower pots blush i was quite excited about this one and the milani rose powder blush both have like a similar uh, you know packaging rose embossment um kind of a look to it and um the milani one i didn't uh, i've never seen it at great offers or discounts but when i was buying the essence one i actually saw this one on a great offer i think it was 30 or 40% off on nike so i'm like let's grab this it i hardly paid like what 600 700 i think for it definitely not more than that so i was very very happy 
and the most popular shade which online looks like a good nude but in person if you see the shade sweet pea it is definitely not a nude uh, like it's not a warm nude it is definitely more cool i'm not sure how it is exactly looking on camera but in person when i look at it it definitely looks like a more cool toned um, baby pink not exactly baby pink i think baby pink also has a little bit of a warmth this is more of a cool toned light pink and if you are someone who's super fair if you have more neutral cool undertones on your skin this will probably look good on you but if you have a complexion which is darker than mine just skip this if you have my complexion or lighter uh, but your undertones are more warm again i would be a little bit cautious about it because i don't think this looks very good on people who have neutral warm undertones i can make it work with certain makeup looks but i was definitely very very disappointed with this shade i was not expecting it to be this kind of a shade and um, i don't think this is the most flattering shade on my complexion either that being said i have decided to not discontinue it i think i will continue wearing it and on certain occasions with certain makeup looks it will look nice but other times it might not look as nice and i'm okay with that um that being said another aspect of this product that i wanted to mention which was a little bit of a put off for me is that um i have used it a couple of times quite a few times in fact and out of that i've noticed many a times this fading from my cheeks and yes people say that blushes fade uh, which is totally fine like even the essence one i feel like it does fade a little bit throughout the day but this one fades only from one cheek it doesn't fade from both my cheeks like ye cheek pe you will still see blush at the end of the day but ye cheek pe se the blush just goes away and i know a lot of you will be like maybe you keep your hand like this on your face and it it's coming off because of that i don't touch my face throughout the day i don't sit aise when i'm working i barely touch my face if anything uh, which i know is quite an unpopular trait i feel like but that's okay i actually don't touch my face a lot throughout the day so i don't know whether my this cheek is eating the entire blush versus this cheek is not as hungry so it's not eating the blush i don't know what's wrong but every time this cheek pe se like the blush is still there and this cheek pe se it's dyeable and uh, i remember once like my mom even pointing out she's like why does it look like you have blush only on one cheek dusre cheek ka blush kidhar gaya and i'm like i have no idea but yeah that's a very absurd thing that's happened with this specific blush only to me it doesn't happen with any other product so i don't know what's up there but um, yeah that's something that i wanted to also mention about this in case anyone wanted that extracted bit of information but yes those are my first two blushes i wanted to talk about the third blush that i wanted to talk about i don't actually have any more i was very very excited to buy this the k beauty matte blush and i will mention down below in the description box which shade i bought i don't remember that also anymore but i remember it being like a soft nude um kind of a shade also something i was very 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 excited about but i have a video on my channel which will either already be up or it's going to be up sometime soon where i am testing it out for the first time and you can see the shock and horror on my face when i realized how extremely pigmented this blush is it's not even a buildable formula it's a clown cheeks formula like even if you like just dab your product like dab your brush into it with the slightest bit of pressure there will be a lot of powder kick back firstly and secondly no matter how little product you take when you put it on your face you'll instantly turn into a clown that is just how it is i think i tried using it one more time also after that where i tried to like tap out all the product and just have the teeniest tiniest bit of blush on my brush still did not work so i think when i'm filming this today a few days ago my products i ended up decluttering video went live and even in that video i got a comment from someone telling me that this is a very unpopular opinion but the same thing has happened to them also and they've heard like very few creators mention um how disappointing this blush is and i don't know why other people are not talking about it i don't really care but personally i was so disappointed because i was a very very excited about this in the first place 
and B, I spent like a good 600, 700 rupees I think on it. No, I think I got some sort of an offer on it, but that's the regular price of this blush. And um, it has the most beautiful packaging. I love how thin and sleek the K-Beauty packaging is on their blushes and their highlighters. Um, so I, I wanted it to work so bad for me, but I just could not keep it because I'm like, this is going to make me a clown every single time. And I don't like to have a super pigmented blush going on. So very, very, very disappointed by this product. Absolutely would not recommend anyone to buy it. And that's why I ended up decluttering it after just using it two times. Um, so that is my review on the K-Beauty blush. Let's move on to lipsticks. We have quite a few, like we've got four formulations to talk about and they're all very, very exciting. So let's get into that. Do we have four or do we have just three formulas? I thought we had four, but I think it is just three. Um, the first one is the, okay, wait, 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 wait. I think I forgot to get one of them. Just give me a second. I just knew ki we had 10 products to talk about, so one product is missing. This was the missing product, which I forgot This is the K-Beauty uh, liquid lipstick. These went absolutely viral on Instagram when they first launched. And I have the shade Embrace specifically. This shade also, I think, went very, very popular. And um, it is a beautiful, very, very unique shade, actually. Now, the reason I was a little bit dicey about this formula and I didn't want to buy it immediately, I wanted to wait for a good deal or a discount was because of how expensive these are. These are like 1200 rupees for one and that is like almost the price of a MAC lipstick which is a high-end prices. K-Beauty is supposed to be more on like the affordable -ish side, like under a thousand at least. I think this is the only product that's over a thousand. Um, maybe the eyeshadow palettes also, but I think eyeshadow palettes are usually a little bit more expensive than um, all of our other regular makeup. So I was quite surprised to see how steep the pricing was on this one. And um, because it was a very unique shade, in fact, I also went to like a Nykaa store to swatch a bunch of different K-Beauty shades. I really wanted to pick the perfect shade which was unique to my collection, which could warrant the expensive price tag. And this one was a pretty good one. So very, very happy about the shade that I ended up picking because of the unique aspect of it. And in terms of the formula, also I'm quite happy with the formula of this one. It's very, very comfortable on the lips, very, very lightweight. Um, I haven't used it enough times to tell you if it is um, completely transfer proof, smudge proof, food proof, um, oily, greasy, pizza proof or not. Those things I think I will have to wait a little bit longer and use it more times to tell you. That being said, it's still very hard for me to justify like the price on this one. So I will definitely tell you to wait for like a 25% off sale at least or uh, like me when I got a 30% off on this. Uh, I think I bought it during one of the big Nykaa sales. I think they had a flash sale going on just for one day where like the entire K-Beauty lineup was 30% off. That's when I actually ended up buying the blush also and this also. So I would suggest you to wait for this like anywhere around maybe 900 bucks, 800 bucks for this. I think you can still justify because a lot of lipstick formulas cost around that. Um, but about a thousand, I would not suggest you to pay for it no matter how good the formula is. Um, this doesn't also come with a ton of product. It just comes with 3.5 ml. So uh, even in terms of the product, it's okay. Packaging pretty good still doesn't warrant the 1200 rupee price tag so that is what i have to say about the k-beauty liquid lipstick let's move on next to talk about um, one of my favorites this is the miss claire matte power lip color in the shade number 02 now you guys know i love the miss claire uh, liquid lipsticks in general my absolute favorite shade is the number 06 uh, and then this one would be a close second this is the number 02 this is a beautiful beautiful um, nude pink uh, leaning on the more warm side but i think it's also pretty neutral at least on my complexion and it is the perfect 
mid tone everyday wearable pink shade really really love the formula on this one specifically i think i've told you in a few previous videos that certain shades can be more patchy and they wear off a little bit more uneven this one i think wears off pretty evenly similar to the number 06 so i think the nude leaning shades are more wearable and they la like they last well throughout the day and they wear out pretty well on the lips versus i think the bold shades can tend to get a little bit more patchy throughout the day so that is an observation which i made with this formula it's also very very affordable under like 500 rupees so that is something that i wanted to shout out the formula and the shades um specifically when there are more expensive um lipsticks out there i think you should definitely check out the miss claire formula if you haven't already because they do have a decent shade range and they have quite a few really pretty shades in their collection so yes that is that um then let's move on to another lip um, lip liquid lipstick formula um i don't know why i could not get my words out there but um i actually bought um the mini set of these so the love earth liquid mousse um liquid lipsticks have been popular on instagram for a while i've seen so many people swatch it review it and talk about it and when i saw that they have a mini set with nine shades for um how much did i pay i actually don't remember a lot of you ask me like how much did you pay for it how much did you pay for it i don't remember to be very very honest but it was under a thousand i know that and um, getting nine for under a thousand i think is pretty good so i have four shades from the original lineup that i absolutely freaking love now if you want swatches on any of the lipsticks which i'm mentioning in today's video you will probably find it on my shorts for sure i post liquid lipstick swatches and in general lipstick swatches very very regularly on my shorts i did it for the entire month of february and i think i've covered my entire collection if there is any lipstick which you see in my collection which is not swatched on my shorts please let me know i don't know kaise miss ho gaya but i'll definitely make sure to do it so these are the four shades from lavot which i absolutely love from their original lineup peach mojito espresso martini citrus cosmo and pink and tonic these four shades i will probably buy the full sizes of once i use up the minis this formula is um like a traditional liquid lipstick formula not in a drying way but in terms of the consistency and the texture like it's not too liquidy where it's runny and it's going to get into your teeth at the same time it's not very moussey and like not long wearing i find this formula to be very very long wearing at the same time it's not drying on the lips at all and while these retail for i think 700 800 or something like that you can always find this on a buy one get one or a 50% off on nykaa i don't think you can ever not get these at 50% off on nykaa when you're buying the full sizes um uh, the mini set again i don't remember how much it retails for but you can go ahead and check it out i bought all of these from nykaa and then um i saw after some time that they came out with like a they came out with more shades basically and they came out with a, a second mini set the second one has the white lids versus the original one has the black lids now from the second um set i also found four shades bloody mary raspberry martini cosmopolitan and sea breeze i believe that all the shades are basically names of cocktails and mocktails and beverages so these are the like second set of four shades which i love so in total i have eight favorite shades from this mom, like from this formula and from this collection and this brand um, and i think in total they have about 18 So out of 18, these are my favorites, and I'm pakka wala sure ki ye 18 ke 18 maine definitely swatch kiye hain on shorts. So if you want to uh, see a specific shade and how it looks on my complexion, definitely go and check my shorts out. I will probably link the shorts in the description of this video as well. But in case I forget to, or in case you can't find it, or you're not able to reach those, just go on my channel, go on the shorts tab. and you can just search it very very easily pakka mil jayega tumko i can assure you of that so absolutely love the love earth liquid mousse lipstick formulas um and i highly recommend them now um the last and i didn't want to end with a disappointing um like i don't want to end this video on a disappointing note is basically what i'm trying to say but unfortunately i do feel like i wasted my money uh by buying these liquid lipsticks 
that being said i don't have it in my heart to uh, to declutter these because a i spent so much money on them and b they are created by an influencer who i absolutely love it's her brand and i am speaking about verified and i'm speaking about the verified lip frosting um, liquid matte lipsticks i think that's what the name is i bought four shades from them i bought rose roulard which is a nice mid tone pink um it's more on the bolder side then there is butter blondie which is a nude there is red velvet cupcake which is a red and then pink hot cocoa is like a my lips but better shade now um i remember buying these for thing lipstick day uh, or something they had a buy to get to going on in case you're wondering why did i buy four shades of a absolutely new formula which i've never tried before that is why usually verified does very very few uh, like crazy deals ton of discount best deal ever kind of offers usually they do like more like chote mote offers like 10% off 15% off of course they're a smaller brand they cannot do buy one get one or buy two get two all the time so when they did it i just wanted to grab all of these and i would love to support anam from the bottom of my heart with her brand in general but unfortunately these specific um lipsticks are not my favorite formula in fact they're one of my least favorite formulas when it comes to liquid lipsticks and it hurts me so much to say that uh, i don't think anam would be watching this video but if you are anam i am so so sorry i love you from the bottom of my heart i've met you i think twice till date in your meet and greets and you are the best warmest person and i love verified as a brand and what they do the products they create but these unfortunately were just not it so uh, for me personally i'll tell you what i liked about it what i didn't like about it all of it i think the shades are really pretty i love all the shades that i bought pink hot cocoa maybe i wish was a little bit deeper because like i said on my lips it's a true my lips but better kind of a shade and that can work with certain makeup looks but it doesn't always work because sometimes i do feel like it washes me out apart from that all the other shades are bang on amazing that being said the way they last on my lips throughout the day is not my favorite i feel like they look very weird and they emphasize my lip lines a lot by the end of the day and also i feel like they don't wear off very smoothly very evenly they can um just not look very nice like sometimes they disappear from the middle of my mouth um sometimes they feather and bleed and smudge a lot like especially the red and that being said i have not found a red liquid lipstick which doesn't feather doesn't bleed so um i mean that's not like just a verified problem that's i think a red lipstick formula in general and i think you have to live with that i think the only red which does not feather or bleed is the one from love earth but i've not used it enough times to give you a sure shot um like answer ki love earth wala red to pakka pakka nahi bleed hoga i think i've used it once and it wore very very well uh whereas these i feel like um the red and like even the bolder shades like even rose roulard um can look very very messy and patchy throughout the day apart from that the formula is actually comfortable but still uncomfortable at the same time like i'm not really sure how but um it feels like there is like a paint like a thin paint layer on my lips i can feel it throughout the day and um after a meal specifically sometimes i feel like um the food will just stick on my lips won't come off and if it comes off the lipstick also in that area will just come off so i don't know what it is i think they have some skin care ingredients in these lipsticks maybe that is what is causing the patchiness um or what exactly i don't know i genuinely don't know but i have worn all of these shades multiple times the red maybe i've worn the least um but i've still worn it enough times like especially the other shades and it just did not feel the best i almost felt like i was wearing it just for the purpose of testing it out but i was always disappointed every single time so yes unfortunately um these did not work for me i don't want to declutter them just yet I feel like I can make them work. I can use them. Um try to get more use on them and I don't know if I'll be able to actually use any of them up completely. But um yeah, in general, not my absolute favorite formula 
and um, because these are not the most affordable i think they are 9.99 a piece and i paid roughly around 4.99 for one because i got it on a buy to get to offer and i don't even think it was worth the 4.99 like i regret spending how much i spent on this uh, even though i'm happy to support anam maybe just not with this product um and yeah uh it's very sad because even the bullet lipstick didn't work out for me i was really hoping like the liquid lipsticks would at least work out for me because i love liquid lipsticks so much but uh, that doesn't mean i'll stop buying from verified i want to actually buy the blushes and the bronzers from them um so i think that would be my next purchase and hopefully it works out so um yes i love you anam and i'm so so sorry uh but yeah this didn't work out for me so um, yes you guys that is it those were all the products this video was longer than i thought it would be and uh, yes i know i'm going to come get a comment from someone oh my god you talk so much um, i wanted to keep it like a speed reviews uh, i know it was not super speedy so maybe i'll change the name next time of this series but i wanted to make sure like i can give you all my thoughts um and very full rounded thoughts on all the products uh, but if you have any further questions please leave a comment down below if i missed any point about any product any specific element and you want to ask me more questions leave a comment down below let me know let me know if you want me to continue this series and every time i think i'll do 10ish products five bahut zyada kam ho jayega so i think i'll do 10 and i'll try to keep it as speedy as possible definitely we'll share time stamps every single time but uh, yes that is it for the video thank you so 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 much for watching you guys until next time bye bye bye